Hey everybody, this is Rhino. We are back to Deus Ex. Let's continue. We walk in here with these guys. Bodyguard and Surat. Let's talk to him. You want to buy or sell something? It's all on the computer. What do you want? Oh, good. So I can just sell things. So, crossbow, I need to keep. Machine pistol we can get rid of, gun we can get rid of, shotgun we can get rid of. Machine pistol ammo, shotgun cartridges, pistol ammo, and concussion grenade. And we have four auto hacks. We'll sell this beer, and then let's see what he's got to sell. A silencer, a stun gun, and a machine pistol, and a remote explosive device. And okay, that's it. That is nice. So we found the second store. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna move your uh, stuff around a little bit. An ebook in this store. Unfortunately, it doesn't make a lot of sense. A lady just sleeping on the bed, can't talk to her. Uh, it, oh, interesting. Hmm. Doesn't make a lot of sense for the store to be in this apartment. Now yeah, we can't use these. Interesting. I wish I had a fancy thing that had like temperature controls on my shower. That'd be nice. So. Already we're going to potentially s sour our business relationship with this guy. Let's go ahead and we'll just shut this door. Hmm. Why is he alarmed? So shutting the door alarmed him. Interesting. He has no problem with me walking in here. Let's see. So. Stun gun, darts, a gun, and that. And the pocket secretary. We read this. Storage locker code, security system code. Interesting. I think that's the codes to that storage locker. Before. This is what I got. And we'll just come over here and sell what we just got. <laughs> Literally selling him his own gun. I don't want to sell the crossbow yet. I think I might need it. Hmm. So now we are done with this apartment, I think. We need to just figure out a way down. <laughs> so, down we go. So we've got this code, and since it's a, it's a level 5, we'll just use this. That opens this, and then we can get to the security system.
And since this is a level 4, we'll just put this in the code too. No. Is 6, 5, 4, 2. Inactive. There we go. So we can pick up the combat rifle ammo. Combat rifle ammo. And combat rifle. One. Tranquilizer darts and tranquilizer darts. I'll just go ahead and toss that out of the way. We will take the silent sniper rifle. And this ammo. <coughs> Why would you do that? Game. Why would you even allow that to be an option? Is this like some kind of booby trap thing? <coughs> Just don't die. Barely. 15 health. Well. Some more cardboard. Hmm. So. Nothing else to pick up. I suppose I could drag those bodies in there and poison it, poison them if I wanted to. In fact, potentially I might kill any number of people doing that, just creating a gas chamber. <laughs> but that would be pretty nasty to do. So we want to sell the, each individual combat rifle. Let's see. Let's read these. Mark these as red. And then I wanted to examine. Do I have a praxis point? No. Nope. Let's see. The silenced thing. It already has a silencer on it. It would only take about uh, seven, eight upgrades. Versus something such as the crossbow, let's see, has only five upgrades to it. And the combat rifle has quite a lot more. Alright. What'll it be? Hmm. Here we go. Combat rifle for 630. Sound sniper rifle and see you soon. We'll take that. Now we need to run back to this section. The real thing here is we're not getting enough experience from hacking to make me feel like I'm doing the wrong thing by not hacking. Uh it all feels much more like we are just gonna be fine. Combat rifle for 630 again. So, again, we'll just make a mad dash. If we go the right direction, make a right mad dash to the salesman and sell those weapons. How may I be of sir? So you can fight these guys. I know you can. I could go be up sure to, to them tell all your friends. It just, just not the punch them in the face <laughs> and start a fight between these two guys. Uh, 
because I did and it's not a great idea you might actually horribly cripple your ability to play the game if you took out both guys assuming you even found the other guy without looking okay so one more combat rifle and then we can go talk to it let's see in fact let's just forget about selling and continue with the story So we're going to go talk to our undercover cop friend and see what we can do. Here we go. Did you get everything? We have to get that son of a bitch, Jensen. Yeah. I think I have everything. Excellent, Jensen. I knew I could trust you. My guys got their hands on Double T and you identified the shipment. Apparently you weren't so subtle with the last part, but hey, at least the job <laughs> is done. What else you got? Let's see. I have evidence. I paid a little B&E visit to O'Malley's apartment. There was a second shipment of weapons, government issue. I don't know how he got his hands on that type of hardware, but the man's got reach. Great work. Found something else? I found a stash of illegal drugs. Not much, but enough to get him convicted. Good. The more dirt we dig up on that asshole, the better our chances to put him away for good. Got anything else? I managed to hack into his personal account. I think you might want to check any connection O'Malley has with FEMA. There's definitely something going on there. My god, Jensen. With all you've uncovered, you've probably provided us with months of legal investigation. What's next? You're gonna tell me you found proof he's got free satellite TV? No, that about covers it. I... I think O'Malley's plan was to start a controlled gang war between the derelict row ballers and the Motor City Bangers. You might want to check into that. Really? All right, I'll keep that in mind when I review all the evidence. And here's the crossbow. Here's the weapon used in the dealer's murder. Hope you can make good use of it. You bet, big boy. I've got a feeling O'Malley's guy will become a lot more receptive to interrogation once he knows I can pin this murder on him. Well, that's it. You did a great job. Here's the stuff I promised you. We've got more than enough to nail him now, and I want to make a move before that son of a bitch gets wise. But I ain't got no backup, and I doubt he'll go down peacefully. You've already done the bulk of the job. You want to put the finishing touches on yourself? Sure. So ammo, ammo capacity upgrade and a thousand credits. It'll be my pleasure. Perfect. My contact tells me O'Malley's gone back to his apartment. Go get him. I'll be waiting for you in the alley near the building once you've taken care of that scumbag. Excellent. So, we would have probably gotten a little bit of a bonus if we had not been quiet, if we had snuck in, got the cash, and snuck out. But, I don't know if that bonus was going to be anywhere as, as much as we did for all those non-lethal takedowns we did. I suppose the best way to play that would have been to sneak in, get the cash, finish this quest, then sneak back in, do a bunch of non-lethal takedowns on all of those gang bangers, and then gotten the experience also. Alright. Where is he? Is he up? Upwards or downwards? Like, I think I'm getting further and further away. This was the hacker's room. Maybe I'm on the, in the wrong building. It's hard to tell. 
Like this is the gangbangers room and yeah, we'll definitely come back to that later. There's no painting over here. Yeah, I don't think I'm in the right building. speed this up as much as possible. Ah yes, he's in this building. There we go. I think I'm going to chase him down. I think that's what this is all about, is this is going to turn into a chase sequence. Which will be kind of weird, considering. No picture frames over here to hide any safes. They, they sneak some imagery in here, the fall of Icarus and such. Uh, the picture of the doctors studying a body. Uh, it used to be illegal to cut open bodies and study them. So they would have to often sneak a, sneak a body to learn any science whatsoever. Deal with O'Malley. Hmm. Here's the doctors. And here's the security thing. So, is he dead? not here unless I just walked past him yeah he's right there okay well let's see if there were there needs to be a quick save button on mankind divided terribly hmm. so I could have definitely Transfer gives you credits. I can't get that one. That's a zero. Let's see. Get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. Access granted. Shotgun cartridges and a nuke virus. Nothing important there. So let's go talk to O'Malley. Let's talk to him and get some more information. Mr. Jensen. Don't know why I didn't recognize you the first time. Here to make sure your treachery is complete. Mm-hmm. Yes. Treachery? You lie, steal, murder, manipulate, and cheat on a daily basis. 
Men like you shouldn't even be allowed to use the word treachery. Your little outburst is quite amusing, Mr. Jensen. I didn't mean any of it as an insult. Whatever. I'm here to arrest you. I strongly suggest you consider a peaceful resolution. I'm afraid I won't be able to comply, Mr. Jensen. But allow me to make you a different offer. Hmm. Let's see. He's offering something. Let's Save just decline it. We're done with this bullshit. You're going down. So be it. I don't even want to listen to this guy. I don't know. He was probably going to offer some kind of some some big amount of money or something like that. Mission four done. Let's see. I guess we're going down. I can't really imagine anybody really would want to play as the bad cop in this game. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, it's not you as your character. Right? That's the one we came in. Isn't there a... Where is this sending me this this quest marker? This is it where he is. And does this go any higher? Trying to kill you, uh, trying to check each place. Here we go. Level five auto hack. What in the heck is this? It's like a secret medical facility. I don't think I ever got in this room before. With a level 5 hack, wouldn't be surprised. Like, illegal underground surgery. Maybe organ harvesting. Wow. Well, do I need to auto hack a. Level two. Hmm. I don't think I do. I think I can hack that one myself. Even if I had the ability to hack a level five, that doesn't really mean I have the stealth high enough or anything like that. If I can just make it to this, I should be fine. I think a level 2 clearance means I cannot be caught for anything that's Access a 2 granted. or lower. Look at this, wow. Security rank one. If I can make it to level one clearance, I should, I think, be fine. Like I said, I don't think any of these will mess up. Let's see. I could do two level twos here. I got that. Access 
Access granted. There we go. Get out and now. New access code found. New ebook. Get down here. Level 5 hack. Fortunately, we have the code, so we can unlock that. Wow, just look at all these body parts. Just trying to flush them down the toilet. I wonder if this is supposed to be. Let's see. Is this supposed to be something here? I don't think so. Nothing in the boxes. Some energy packs. Nothing else on these shelves. What else? A Praxis kit? Wow. Definitely worth checking this place out. Let's check the weapons cabinet. And 10 millimeter pistol. 10 millimeter pistol. We'll take it. The Praxis kit is what we really are happy about. So. The question now is, we have two Praxis kits, interesting. One I want to get is Social Enhancer, absolutely. Uh, so that's fully unlocked. And then, do I want to go to level four on this? Or is there something else I could be getting? We've seen so much on the hacking front. I think we need to get that. Oh, I just spent both of my Praxis points, apparently, on that. Well, that sucks. But whatever. We got the social enhancement. Now we can start talking to people and seeing if we can convince them to give us better rewards. Perhaps, perhaps, if the new game plus was ever played, something like this would turn around and uh, give us things that you didn't even imagine you would get right at the very beginning of the game. All right. Where is she? She's right here. Good. So. What happened? He looked a bit tired and it made him grumpy. He's asleep now. All that's left to do is go in there and cuff him. I've always liked your style, Jensen. I know I've said it a couple of times already, but... Thanks. You've done a really good thing today. It's been a pleasure working with you again. Just like old times, eh? <laughs> good luck with... Well... Whatever it is your cute ass is working on these days. It'd be nice if she came back in the story. Can I say you anything? You did a good thing, Jensen. Once a good cop, always a good cop, huh? That, that'd be nice if she came back in, in Mankind Divided and was actually, I don't know, a romantic interest. Uh, it's a little too early in this game since my romantic interest was the person who was the persons who was killed look at this we could get four praxis kits if we could just get those kits uh, shotgun cartridges combat rifle ammo sniper rifle ammo pistol ammo combat rifle pistol see you soon 
we didn't check oh, to man. see what. After a while, I think this changes. But see you I, soon. I think it's pretty long. And if we could just get some Praxis kits. Fortunately, there's none at this limb clinic. We'll go check again. If I could buy an unlimited amount, I'd have four. I'd be perfectly set. But they're artificially holding me back. Let's see. Will you be purchasing anything today? She knows. She's like, are you going to buy anything? Whoa, how can I? There's nothing here I need. I need okay. practice. Have a good evening. Just give me some praxis kits, that's all I want. Maybe I'm talking to the wrong person. Maybe if I come back over here and talk to somebody different. Hmm. I could get a praxis kit. If you're here for some work, please go to the counters. Ah. I saw the news this evening. Am I to assume that Seraph has you running around getting shot at again? It's my job to get shot at. It's his to tell me when. Does he feel your pain for you too? Interesting. He pays for my insurance, so I guess he does. He pays for many things. This clinic, for example, could not operate nearly as well as it does without the financial generosity of our corporate sponsors. David Seraph being one of them. The same can be said of every limb facility worldwide. You trying to tell me something, Doc? Only that everybody, myself included, can be made vulnerable to suggestion if certain pressures are applied. As your doctor, I hope you will remember that the decision to undergo neuroprosthetic surgery must always be your own. I'll keep that in mind. I sincerely hope you do. Well, that's interesting. As you know, it is considered bad business to spend money and expect nothing in return. Interesting. So, that got us a little bit more dialogue, but no Praxis kits. And that's what I want. I want it so desperately. If I talk to her, believes in free access to augmentations for nope. everyone, everywhere. Anywho, well, that's gonna be the end of this recording. We're gonna do submission three and main mission five, uh, unless we can find some other submissions to do. We haven't gone to this section. So maybe next time we'll just go to this section and see what this is all about. But I don't think we're ready to do that. Anyways, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name righto. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.